All right, so they say that here factored completely the expression 3x squared minus 3x minus 18 is equivalent to which of the following? So we're factoring a quadratic. And I notice right away that I have 3x squared minus 3 again, x minus 18, right, right, which is a multiple of 3. So what I can do is I can factor out 3 and rewrite it like this, 3 times x squared minus x minus 6. These are equivalent, right? You can imagine if I was to redistribute this 3 right, to each part, what I would get is my original term. So I know I'm just factoring it out and rewriting it, but this is going to help me right, in my factoring process because now all I have to do is I don't have to deal with an a term that's more than 1, this first term. I have an a term of 1. So this is nice and easy to factor. If look for right, factors of 6, 1 and 6, 2 and 3, factors of negative 6 actually that add up to negative 1x or negative 1 in this case. So what are factors of negative 6? Well, I have negative 1 and 6, 2 and negative 3, right? Negative 2 and positive 3, 1 and negative 6, and I have to find which one of these add up to negative 1. Well, negative 1 plus 6 is 5. Doesn't work. 2 plus negative 3 is negative 1. That looks like it's going to be our candidate right there, but let's try the others. Negative 2 plus 3 is 1. Doesn't work, we need a negative 1, so the subtraction sign. And 1 plus negative 6 is negative 5. So that means that I can use 2 and negative 3 in my factoring. So I still have my 3 out here, right? And I have x, you can write them in either order, plus 2 times x minus 3. And I factored it out. And you should always test this, especially in the beginning, to see if this makes sense. So here's what we have. Let's test it and see. All right, if this is really our quadratic factored out. So x times x is x squared. x times negative 3 is minus 3x. 2 times x is 2x. And 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Add up these two, I get minus x. I have negative 6 here and x squared. But don't forget, I still have a 3 to distribute. If I multiply everything by 3, I go right back to my original quadratic. So I know this worked. So here's my answer. 3 times x plus 2 times x minus 3, which is right here, just written in a different order. So I would choose choice 3. All right, hope that helped.